Hello and welcome to the second session of our module on Tocharian. We'll continue our little survey of uh, Tocharian phonology and we'll be concerned with suprasegmentals and specifically with stress. Our focus will uh, be on Tocharian B because stress in Tocharian B is relatively well understood. Our understanding of stress in Tocharian A is actually only in its early stages but this is a good thing because it means that there are still very important things to be figured out about Tocharian. And this is something that makes working on Tocharian really exciting. Tocharian B has a stress accent. How do we know this? Stress can be inferred from the alternation of the central vowels in classic Tocharian B. Classic Tocharian B is the language where most of our uh, descriptions of Tocharian B are based on. Tocharian B, as opposed to Tocharian A, shows a great deal of variety. This variety is partially due uh, to diachronic uh, layers, partially due to uh, dialectal layers, uh, but the bulk of our Tocharian B manuscript fragments is classical Tocharian B. And classical Tocharian B, as opposed to, for example, archaic Tocharian, shows alternation in the central vowels that depends on where the stress in the word goes. So there are basically two patterns uh, concerning the central vowels, schwa and a. Pattern one is that underlying accented schwa, presumably phonetically rendered as the IPA barred i, so ö, is written with the Fremdzeichen, so the German umlaut a, a with two dots on the top. And underlying accented schwa, presumably phonetically rendered as real schwa, so ö, is written with a. Pattern two is that underlying unaccented a, presumably phonetically rendered again as schwa, so e, is also written with a, and underlyingly accented a, presumably phonetically rendered as a, is written with a macron, so long a. However, to be sure, only uh, written with a long vowel uh, diacritic in the Brahmi system. As you know, phonological contrast of uh, length in vowel, uh, vowels doesn't exist in Tocharian. So these are uh, the basic patterns uh, of uh, how to uh, see the stress in Tocharian B. Classic Tocharian B has a fixed stress as opposed to variable stress like in English or Russian. Stress uh, in Tocharian B uh, to a certain extent is predictable. It falls on the penultimate uh, syllable. There are certain exceptions to this rule that we'll be treating uh, shortly. Um, stress falls uh, on the uh, penultimate syllable uh, as said and descriptively this leads to the following rules uh, for Tocharian B. So first, disyllabic words are stressed on the first syllable. Um, so here we have uh, Tarkir, uh, cloud, and Schürze, he, she, knew. The second rule is trisyllabic words are stressed on the second syllable. So nominative uh, plural Türkürve, clouds, and third plural preterite Schürsare, they knew. As said before, there are certain exceptions to this basic rule. Here is the first amendment. Disyllabic words with stress on the second syllable are underlyingly trisyllabic. So uh, here we have two examples. So nominative singular uh, puvar with the nominative plural written spelled pvara the, that underlyingly is puvara. And nominative singular akalk, wish, that underlyingly is akalk, the underlying final schwa surfaces on the one hand in inflection and derivation, but even more interesting, it appears written uh, as o uh, in metrical texts, uh, which are, as we will see in our next session, a strictly syllable counting. So for akalk, in metrical text, we frequently find akalko. Because this rendering of final schwa as O is not obligatory and depending on the meter, it is called mobile O or O mobile. This might seem strange at first, 
Um, but think, for example, about the pronunciation of uh, French uh, schwa, like in gloire, uh, for spoken uh, French gloire, uh, in the second uh, line of the French national anthem, uh, or in poetry, in French poetry in general. Uh, a fun fact is that in songs of certain chansonniers, you can actually hear the underlying schwa uh, phonetically rendered as O, uh, just like in to carry and be. Here is the second uh, major amendment to the basic rule. Trisyllabic words bear uh, initial stress if the first syllable has a full vowel and full vowel for uh, Tocharian uh, purposes means E, A or O. So, for example, the preterite uh, participle nominative singular uh, Ja mover, dann is stressed on the first syllable uh, so it's not Ja mover uh, as expected from a rule uh, for trisyllabic words. Or take uh, pater, father, from underlying trisyllabic uh, pater is also stressed on the first syllable and it's not patar on the second syllable as expected from a basic rule and its first amendment. Let's turn uh, to an example uh, of the stress rule in an actual uh, text. Uh, again, uh, you saw TB means to carry in B. Uh, of course, and Ketum refers to the online edition where you can actually also check out the whole text of this fragment. The call number THT stands for uh, Tucharische Handschriften der Berliner Turfansammlung. The uh, Turfansammlung are the exploits of the three German expeditions to the Tarim Basin at the beginning of the 20th uh, century. That, among other things, brought Tucharian to light. The manuscripts of the Turfansammlung are uh, kept in the Staatsbibliothek in Berlin. Uh, the artifacts, some manuscripts, and very prominently the wall paintings of Buddhist caves brought to Germany from the Tarim Basin will be on display in the Humboldt Forum in Berlin. So if we uh, turn to our passage here, um, I uh, will read it to you. Nreishana wat klinien lukatsi kurilüklenta pizanze sharmza nreishelakle wat varpoimar. Again, uh, our passage here is, of course, from a Buddhist text, namely a Buddha Stotra, uh, that is a hymn uh, to the Buddha. And we're interested uh, here in uh, two words, uh, namely Nreishana, um, uh, here, uh, this is just the adjective, uh, adjective uh, in agreement here with uh, Luklenta. And uh, Luklenta is the nominative accusative uh, plural uh, of Lyakle. And Lyakle we find uh, down here. And as you can see, uh, the stress uh, in accusative uh, singular Lakle suffering uh, is the disyllabic stress, so the stress is on the first syllable. But uh, in Luklenta sufferings, uh, it's a trisyllabic word with enter, the plural ending, so the stress is on the second syllable. And we can nicely see the alternation of the central vowel, uh, schwa, ö, of course, in the first syllable here. Thank you for your attention. In the next session, we'll be looking at the Tukarian meter.